fearful of this infection, but I think they need to be very conscientious and aware that it's out there. He recommends avoiding doggy daycares and the park if you can, especially if your pet is coughing. Make sure your dog is up to date on vaccinations, and if you notice any unusual symptoms, call your clinic. And the CDC is warning consumers to not eat pre-cut cantaloupe if you don't know the source. It is, it is suspected that they are the cause of at least 117 people getting sick from salmonella in 34 states. Officials say that the recall covers pre-cut cantaloupe sold at major grocery stores like Kroger, Trader Joe's, and Sprouts Farmer's Market. Credit card debt in the U.S. sits at an all-time high. Combine that with record high interest rates on those cards, and millions of Americans, Americans can feel like the walls are closing in. But a financial expert told New Center 7 that does not have to be the case. When it comes to paying off your credit card, you can actually negotiate with the credit card company for a lower interest rate or even a lower annual fee. You can do that with your cable company, your phone provider, your insurance company. There are a lot of bills that can be negotiated. There's often no harm, no foul, right? It doesn't hurt to ask. Remember, a local business may be more willing to work with you and come down on a price than a national chain. And there are many tactics to help keep your debt down, like the avalanche method. Pay off the debt with the lowest interest rate and invest your extra cash into the debt with the highest, or consider a zero balance transfer credit card. It allows you to transfer your high cost debt over to a new card and pauses the interest clock for up to 21 months. Nick Dunn joins us live with your Storm Center 7 forecast. And Nick, it's a bit warmer today, pretty decent for some college football. And I have to point out, you're wearing our rivals' colors right now. What's up with that? Well, this is a little bet that Xavier Hirschvitz <laughs> and I made. I know he's watching, so Xavier, I'm a man of my word. I told you that I would wear the maize and blue. It's here. I'm not necessarily happy. I know it might look okay, but... He's probably smiling right now. He's probably laughing right <laughs> now. So let's take a live look outside, though, in Salina this evening. Because we do have some fog, I mentioned that at the top of the broadcast, that we did have some fog, and I was going to show you this weather camera. And you can see that it is a little harder to see the courthouse in particular. It's there. It's not necessarily the most clear, though. So as you head to the north tonight, mainly north of even U.S. 36, you will encounter some of that patchy fog out there this evening. Checking out visibility once again, we do see now Salina is now down under a one-mile visibility. So again, if you're heading north tonight, Salina, Greenville, Wapakoneta, Sydney, Bell Fountain, these areas are having some patchy fog. So just allow a few extra minutes for your drive time out there later on this evening and even into the wee hours of tomorrow morning as well. Live Doppler 7 again is mainly dry. We're 41 in Richmond, 41 in Wapakoneta. A little bit of light green up here. I don't suspect that a lot of this is touching the ground just yet. The radar beam has to shoot pretty high up in the atmosphere, so there may be a little bit of moisture up there, but where rain is reaching the ground that is moving our direction is actually off to the southwest, and I'll show you that now. We have one area of low pressure off to our southwest, bringing some rain across Illinois. That's going to scoot in here late tonight into tomorrow. It's going to bring us some rain, and then yesterday's rain is actually still kind of stalled out across the Appalachian Mountains. There's an area of low pressure working up through there as well. We're kind of sandwiched in between there, so we didn't get a chance to see a lot of clearing today. Some of you may have seen a little bit of it, though. And we can actually use the rain because we are still abnormally dry across a good portion of the Miami Valley. And again, this is kind of a precursor to drought. This means that we're running a rainfall deficit. We could certainly use a little bit more rain. Our friends across Indiana, yeah, we have some moderate drought conditions out there. That's where they're running an even larger deficit of rain. Thankfully, we have a little bit more rain on the way. Your shopping forecast looks like this. The next three days are not going to be the nicest of days. We'll give it a fair rating for all three days. Tomorrow, we have a chance of some rain. Monday, even a stray shower. And Tuesday, even some more rain chances as well. So again, not the prettiest of days, but we are getting pretty close to Christmas. So if you haven't finished up the shopping yet, I'd recommend you probably do that pretty soon. Here's to take a look at what you need for tomorrow, the long sleeves. I would wear that because temperatures, yes, they're going to be above average in the lower 50s, but still not very nice out there. Sunglasses, I expect a lot of cloud cover tomorrow, so I don't think you're going to need those. And the rain gear, I would take it just to be on the safe side because, again, we're going to have some passing showers. Let's time out those showers for you in future casts. We get in through late tonight. We do see maybe a couple passion uh, showers here, even off to our southeast, places like Wilmington, Springboro, Xenia. We get into Sunday morning as you're getting up and going to church and breakfast. We're still mostly cloudy, and a couple of showers are possible. And you notice it's scattered. It's hidden. It's not everybody is seeing the rain at any one given time. Now, we do look ahead to Monday and Tuesday. Monday, a stray shower is possible, especially to the south. And then in Tuesday, we have another disturbance. I know we just... 
<laughs> we just kind of have multiple disturbances kind of working across. We bring some rain in here Tuesday morning, and then watch what happens. Some colder air starts to wrap around. You see some pink and blue Tuesday night, maybe a little bit of mix or even some light snow. But these were giving just flurries, I think, really in particular. I don't think you're going to have much to worry about at all, but maybe just more of a sightseeing event than anything else. A low tonight of 42 degrees, mostly cloudy and likely dry until dawn. But the day on Sunday, scattered showers and an afternoon high of 51. It's going to be a little breezy tomorrow as well. 10 to 20 mile per hour winds, so be prepared for that as well. Your Storm Center 7-day forecast shows if you can get past Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday with these gloomy conditions, look what arrives Thursday and Friday. Sunshine and yes, mid-50s, that's above normal for us. Thank you, Nick, and hopefully next time we'll see Xavier in red for the Buckeyes. And to keep up to date on the weather in the Miami Valley as we enter this holiday season, make sure to download our free WHO weather app to get the latest. Many military veterans and families have to fight for their disability benefits, but what is done to help them when those benefits are denied? How some are working to fix it. 